Now before we start the next question, what I've done is I've updated the diagram with the earlier results. Remember we found that this height here was 11.025 meters, which meant that the greatest height above the ground was 60.025 meters. So for this part of the question then, the ball is projected upwards, comes to instantaneous rest and then starts to travel down until it gets to the ground here and we've got to work out the speed that it hits the ground at. And it's a common mistake to think that it hits the ground with zero meters per second. It's not. It's just the instant before it hits the ground. It's moving downwards, we'll say, with a speed of V meters per second. And that's what we've got to find. So to do this, what we need to do is consider the motion from here all the way down to here. It's about the easiest way that you could do this problem. So to do that, we'll consider a SUVAT equation. All right. So if we just write our variables up here, S, U, V, A and T, we need to select a positive sense. Well, because we're considering motion from the top here downwards, then we ought to have downwards as positive. It's up to you, but certainly downwards is the best uh, you could do. Anyway, what's S going to be? Well, S will be 60.025 meters. So that's in the positive sense. So 60.025 meters there. U, the initial velocity, well, at the start here, okay, it was, it, it came to rest there. It's now going to start off zero meters per second on the way down. So we'll have U then as zero meters per second. V, well, V is what we're trying to find. A, well, A is going to be 9.8, and it is in the positive sense here. So this will be 9.8 meters per second per second. As for time, well, we're not interested in that, so we can ignore that. So we've got S, U, V, and A. So what equation would we want to use? Well, it has to be V squared equals U squared plus 2AS. And if we use this then, we've got V squared, we can just leave it as V squared there at the moment. U squared, well, that's going to be zero squared, so that's zero, so I won't bother putting that in. And then we've got two multiplied by the acceleration, which is 9.8 times S, which is 60.025. Okay, so if we work this out, what we get is... 1176.49 and to get V we need to square root both sides so V will equal the square root of let's just put it in of 1176.49 and if you do that it comes out to exactly 34.3 okay 34.3 meters per second now, strictly speaking, when you square root a number, it would be normally plus or minus. But we can see that this has got to be a plus value because it's going downwards in the positive sense. So I haven't bothered putting plus or minus in here. So it's 34.3 meters per second. Okay.